Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. So in the previous devlog I mentioned that I want to separate the production and selling points in the game. So I want to move all the production to the farm and factories, while the shops will be used as the selling point and the place to interact with customers and that's it. And for the past two weeks, that's exactly what I was focusing on. It was actually faster to implement and change than I expected. So let's take a look at what and how it looks like right now. Okay, let's start by looking at the shop. First of all, the UI changed once again. I removed the production from the store. I added this logistics thing, so now when you want to distribute your ingredients, instead of doing it from the storage, you're now doing it from the shop itself. So right now the shop doesn't have any bottleneck, it will sell everything that it has in it. So that's going to be the next thing I'll be working on. Also, as you can see, there is no more scheduler in the storage. I decided that all the distributions will happen at the end of the day, and the player will be deciding what they want to distribute from the store or the factory themselves. So if you want to turn off something, you just turn this off and it's not going to do anything. This will be paused and you will not get anything delivered. And now if we take a look at the factory, we will see something similar. For the factories, I also made a lot of changes, of course. The meat factory, for example, is a raw resource. It doesn't require any input. So this is the only UI you're going to see here, the production and the amount that you're producing. And for example, factories that require ingredients as input, it will look something like this, where you have the production the same way and the logistics like the shop on the bottom. And same thing, as soon as you put all your ingredients that are required, by the end of the day, they will be delivered and production will start. And I changed a few things in the UI just to make it better. A few more minor things that I was working on. I changed up the lobby a bit to make it look nicer. Since I decided that everything is going to be produced in factories and farms, I added the pizza, sushi and burger factories. I'm still not sure if this is the final design idea for this, but we will see. I also added uh, the option to rotate with the middle mouse after many told me that hey, it's, it feels like it's kind of missing and it would be nice to have that, and I totally agree. So now you can rotate with Q and E and with the mouse. This week I also got uh, more people to playtest the game, they gave me their feedback, what good, what not, I was observing them, saw where they were struggling and what and what not. One of the things I noticed a lot is this sell button. People don't understand what it does and it used to be that when you press on it, it would just sell the shop. Great, we can add it to a database? Now to see the ingredient, I will just Oh, did I sell it? Did I sell it? I just wanted to see what that button did. And it sold it. So, now it asks you, are you sure you want to sell your shop? Obviously, this was a very simple change needed to be done, but I was always delaying it because I thought, eh, hey, it's not that important. But after seeing so many playtesters fall into this trap, I decided, like, it's time. This week, I also started looking into Chris Zukowski course on how to market your game, more precisely the Wishlist and Visibility Masterclass. My wishlist been in a very bad situation. I'm not getting as many as I want. I even translated the, the Steam page into many languages, which still didn't help with the wishlist count. So I'm kind of struggling and I decided to get that masterclass and see if I can learn something new that I didn't know before to help me increase the wishlists. One of the things that uh, Chris talks about in the beginning of the course, there are two types of games, the one that look beautiful and the one that don't. Basically, you have the games that look amazing that you can market with one screenshot and you have games that you need to play them to see how good they are. So obviously my game is not looking good, at, at least at the moment, I cannot just put on and screenshot and be like, hey guys, wishlist my game because it, it's not attractive enough. Which means I need to go with the approach for the, how Chris likes to put it, the plain is believing games. And the best way to market these kind of games is by making a demo as soon as you can and putting it out there, reaching to streamers, going to festivals or applying to online festivals and trying to market a game like this. Social media does not work for me. I tried everything. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Shorts. I tried all of these, nothing is working. So 
Now I'm gonna go with the second strategy. I'm going to focus less on social media now and I'm gonna be putting most of my effort on building the demo, making it as fun as possible, implementing as many things as I can to have a, an interesting demo and start out reaching to streamers and festivals and stuff like that. So that's going to be my plan for the next month or so. I'm entering this pre-demo grind state and we will see how that works. Anyway, go wishlist new Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam. Thank you for watching. If you want, join me on Twitch for live development. And I'll see you next time.